Welcome to video tutorial number four, creating interactive flip charts in Active Inspire. In this video tutorial, I'm going to wa walk you through this page of the Mathematical Superhighway, review for you how it's set up and how it works, and then show you how to tweak it and reuse it for your own content area. So just as a review, um, the way this page is set up, it's actually pretty simple. It's just using actions. Um, what you do is you, we've created this highway, and this car drives along on this path. And whenever the car gets to a stop sign, you click on the stop sign to reveal a prompt. And the prompt will prompt students to do something. In this case, they're going to learn about double angle formulas. And they're going to click on this video link to do that. Video pops up. Class, this and they'll is going to be an attempt of teaching you while I'm not here. All right. Then they keep going. And they get their next video. And they watch that. And they watch this one. And then they get here and they're going to have to actually do something with the knowledge that they just learned. And they're going to click here to solve the questions that are asked of them that they've studied in the video t tutorials. And then they can reveal the answers if they need to or if you can leave that off if you want to. And then go back to the open road. And whenever they've finished they can go move on to the Khan Academy to study independently while they wait for everybody else to finish. So this is kind of a self-paced assignment that they would work on on their own, either on laptops or in the lab. So we're going to strip this all and recreate it so that I can show you how to actually make it for yourself. All right. And just to make it something do different, something new, we're going to make it the uh, English superhighway. All right. So the English superhighway. Um, the way this text is set up is these are all individual text boxes so that you can kind of create a little bit of a different look there with your letters. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get rid of everything that's on here so that we can start over and work through this and create our own. And to do that, we need to turn off our actions because as you can see, when I go to click on these icons, they have a little blue play button that appears and that tells me that there's an action assigned to it and if I click on it it's going to do that action so in this case it's going to take me to the next page to solve those questions I don't want that to happen because I want to be able to click on it to edit it so in order to edit a page with actions you first have to turn your actions off by clicking on this blue button up here and making it turn orange and once it's orange you'll notice that anything that has an action is outlined in, in a red box and you know that's where your actions are but if I click where the actions are, it doesn't do the action, so I'm free to edit. So I'm going to go ahead and delete. I'm going to delete all the text on this page, and we're just going to start over. I'm going to delete these videos. Oops. And I'm going to delete um, that picture from there. And I'm also going to delete the actions from the stop signs, because I don't want them to do, I, I want to relink different actions. So I'm going to go into my action browser. And I'm going to click on the stop sign. And when I do that, an option appears in the action browser that says remove existing. And that's asking me to remove my existing action, which is what I want to do. So I'm going to do that for each one of these stop signs, remove existing. Okay. And now I have pretty much a blank page ready for me to start editing and do what I want. So I'm going to show you a couple. We're not going to do all of them. We're just going to do a couple of them. And then you can repeat the steps for the different billboards. So since it's the English superhighway, uh, we're going to do an English prompt. And I'm going to ask students to watch a video interview with J.K. Rowling. All right. Again, it's a self-directed prompt. They do this on their own. OK. So I want it to be blank until the student actually gets to it and clicks on the stop sign. So what I need to do is tell this stop sign to hide this text or to reveal this text. So it's a toggle. It can be hidden. It can be unhidden. So to do that, I'm going to click on the stop sign. And from my list of action choices in the action browser, I'm going to kind of sift through here. These are all alphabetically listed until I find the hidden action. And I'm asking uh, that stop sign to hide a target that I need to select. And in this case, the target is this text, watch a video interview. So I'm going to search for it from this browser box. It should be at the bottom because I just added it. 
So watch the video interview with JK Rowling. I'm going to say, okay, that's right. And apply changes. Very important that you hit apply changes. So now it's saying that when you click on the stop sign, it's going to hide target text 15, which is this watch video with JK Rowling. Now I can't test it because I have my actions turned off. So in order to test it, I need to turn them back on just by toggling this back to blue. And when I click on the stop sign, the text disappears. It's being hidden. Now this is actually how you would start the page. So the student would drive up and it would unhide it to make it unhidden. Okay, so hidden and unhidden. You can toggle back and forth. All right, I'm going to turn these off again so I can do something else. Now, once I tell them watch a video with JK Rowling, they need to be able to click somewhere to go watch that video. So I'm actually going to attach an action to the text itself as well. Okay? And I'm going to tell this action, I want it to go open up that video on YouTube. So I'm going to go back to my actions. I want it to open a website. And I could sift through all of these actions, or I can also kind of drill them down and filter them out. And in this case, I'm going to go to Media Actions, and I wanted to open a website. And I have the website open. It's on YouTube. It's this interview. I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to paste it in the URL that I'm asking it to open. And I'm going to apply changes. Okay? So now I'm going to turn my actions back on. Let's say we start from the beginning. We have our text hidden. You can see the blue icon shows that there is an action going on there. So when I get up to it and I click on it, it's going to reveal the text, and then the text is going to take me to the video, which is on YouTube. Okay? So you can see there that it opens on YouTube for the video. Okay, so the student would keep driving, and you would make different prompts for each one of your billboards. And you can do any action that you want. You can have it open another page. You can have it go to a blank page and have them create an essay. Uh, you might want to just sit through and look at all these actions that you have available to you and kind of just play around with them and see what you can come up with for your super highway. You can link out to any website, you can link out to any other flip chart, any other PowerPoint, document, whatever you want them to do. Okay? So it's a nice way to create an interactive um, kind of self-paced lesson. So that's how you use this flip chart. Hope you have a good time. Thanks for watching.